Alright, we're back. Now you're just going to solder the rest of the pins as you did with the IC socket. Pretty straightforward after you've done it this much. If your solder ever gets short, just feel free to solder two pieces of solder back together, like this. Now just repeat this with the 6 pin resistor array in place like so, and solder on as before. Also, don't forget to fix any mistakes, like so. External solder bridge that's all cool. Here I'm just using my desoldering pump to clean off my iron before I fix the bridge. And here I'm removing some more solder from it again, and I'm just going to suck up a little bit more to fix the problem. When everything's all clean, just keep going. to go. Last 10 pin resistor array. Again, it's the same as the other 10 pin resistor array and you can't put it on backwards so just apply it like so and solder on as we've been doing. soon you may notice I'm using a slightly different technique than before. I'm holding the iron against the point and then after heating up the soldering point, the solder melts against it. This is another way to solder. And after soldering that last resistor array on, you're done and you are ready to install and have some awesome LED lights. I'll have videos of that up later, but in the meantime, go ahead and like Get yourself a soldering badge and a thumbs up.